Hey guys, so today I decided to do my first video and uh, I decided to do it on how to pack a bowl because why not throw in a video like that. Um, so today I'm going to smoke some Starbucks code 69. Uh, focus, there we go. Code 69 by Starbucks. Really good. Uh, my favorite so far by Starbucks was the Blue Mist. That one was really good. But unfortunately, I'm out. So I'll go with the Code 69 for for today. All right. Pretty well sealed. Sometimes they're hard to open. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, I'm just using a regular bowl. I'm still waiting on my order that I did, which I'm just gonna be using better bowls. Okay, plastic forks apparently aren't that great because they they break easily, I guess. Oh, again. Okay. I should probably invest, a, in, invest in, a, in a real fork. <laughs> so basically right now I'm just... Uh, just mixing the shisha. So, uh, I like to mix it before I pack my bowl. So like the juice is not all concentrated in one chunk. Pretty much. Okay, so I basically just go all around like this. And then you fill in the middle. Y you want it loose, you don't want it all packed up in there. That's what I find. And you don't want it to pass the rim level, or else the tin foil is gonna touch the shisha, which is gonna burn it. So you, you don't want it too packed. And anyways, with Starbucks, you don't need to put that much shisha. It's still good stuff. So okay, so. All right, so see here, I'm just under the rim level. So that's what you want there. Okay. And then the tin foil. I double my tin foil because it's really thin. Okay, but you don't have to necessarily. I actually wasn't doing that for the longest time. I, I started doubling it not too long ago. But anyways, you want the bright side to face the shisha, so in the bottom like the other side of the top. You just want to set it like this. And you want to put it as tight as you want, but you don't really need to have it as tight. It's just preference. Yes. Kinda of wanna make a drum. Okay. And then my bowl is pretty small. Oh my, my good one broke, so I never did that. Vitria bowl. So I'm still waiting on that. I'll do a review on this bowl when I get it. Okay, so you want it like this. Oops, camera's there. A drum. You want to put it still tight on the edges. And 
me. Now, everyone has a different pattern of poking holes. It doesn't really matter. You can not just do whatever you want, but don't poke the holes too big. But make a good quantity. It's gonna be hard to poke the holes like this, but. I kind of just do a big circle around the rim because that's where you put the coals. Okay. And then I, I just do a second row. And I kind of just do that. Not so straight because I'm on an awkward angle, but yeah, that's kind of what I do. Is you put the coals on the edges, you kind of have to rotate them after a while, so that's why I do them all around. And okay, so I'll go burn my coals, uh, get my hookah ready, and I'll get back with you guys and uh, explain you some more stuff. Also, before I go, I forgot to mention. Before you put the coals or even your bowl on the hookah, I like to flip it around and blow in it a like a couple times just so the shisha gets off the well, it loosens it a bit more so it's not like all compact in the bowl. <laughs> so just blow a couple times, alright? So I'll go get that right. Hey guys, uh, it's been about a so I should be pretty close to ready. Um, let's just take a puff and see. Yeah, it's getting there. Alright, so you guys are probably going to think I have a weird wind cover. I know. It's a homemade one. I'm waiting for a uh, my new de my delivery again, so it's just temporary. But I'll show you guys what I did. If you guys want to make a homemade one, cost me like nothing. Basically, it goes just some okay. okay. So I used a can, and I opened both sides. Uh, I found one that's big enough to go around the bowl and high enough. And then, just that works. Uh, there's a lot of airflow going at the top. So I usually put this at the top, just like that. Right there, it has enough air to go through. And there's air vents on the side there, which kind of looks cool because you can see the coals from the sides here and all that. I'm sure you won't find that at home. I have no idea where it was from, but I'm using it. That's just temporary, like I said. So, I put ice in there to cool it down, but I also have an ice chamber, so you yeah, ice in there just because we left my food, but yeah. <laughs> Some smooth smoke, and uh, yeah, just one second, I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, hey, once again, guys, I'm sorry, my mom just got here and she got me a coffee, so it's fine. It was a good excuse to go and get that. Alright, so back to what I was saying. If you look at my next video that I'm gonna make, it's going to be an um, unboxing video because I'm waiting for two shipments. One that I ordered, uh, a Jelani King Buka, all glass, really nice. I'm uh, really excited to get that. Should be in the next week or so. I don't know how long it's going to take. And then also, I ordered a bunch of parts with it. I'll do some review on it. Uh, I also ordered some haze. Shisha that I'm gonna try. I never tried that, so I'll do an unboxing video of the order I did on uh, Five Star Hookah. 
Uh, I ordered that. I ordered the feature bowl with the Kalud Lotus. And uh, yeah, so a bunch of videos coming up when I get that. Um, I'll try to go over as much stuff as I can for you guys. And uh, that, that's my cam right here. Um, my Kaluma Moon. I like it. Also have over there uh, homemade hookah that I built. It's I'd say three or four feet tall. Uh, to go and look at those if you have the money for it it's totally worth it so yeah so you guys look at my next videos and I'll do an unboxing video and uh, should be fun I'm excited for it all right thanks for watching guys see you later